Hey everyone, this is Stefan from projectlifemastery.com and in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I plan my day using Evernote. Now, if you're not familiar with what Evernote is, it's basically a software that you can download to your computer. You can also download it as a mobile app uh, to your smartphone and it allows you to create notes and synchronize the notes uh, between your smartphone and also your computer and it has a lot of cool benefits and features as well. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I use Evernote, how I plan my day. Um, the method that I use for planning my day is called RPM, which is a method that was created by Tony Robbins on how to manage your life and how to manage your time. And it stands for Results, Purpose, Massive Action Plan. Uh, this is something that was taught in Tony Robbins' Time Your Life program, which I went through many years ago, one of the best programs out there for managing your time in life. So I'm also gonna introduce you guys a little bit to that method, because that's what I personally use. And I'm gonna do a screen share on my computer so that I can walk you guys exact, walk you guys through exactly how I use Evernote to plan my day. All right, now here's the RPM plan that I created inside Evernote for today, which is April 28th, 2016. And the RPM philosophy, let me share with you a little bit what it is and how it works. Uh, so as I mentioned before, RPM stands for Results, Purpose, Massive Action Plan. And it was something that was developed by Tony Robbins. And RPM is really a way of thinking, and it's a process of conditioning and training your brain to focus on the outcome and result that you're after. You see, a lot of people, they just have to-do lists, and they use that to plan their day. And being to-do oriented, uh, I believe, and what Tony believes, is not a very effective way of achieving results because a lot of people, they just do a lot of stuff and they mistake an activity with achievement. You have to understand that you're after a specific result or outcome. The to-dos that you set for yourself each day, you have to be clear on what you're doing that for. And oftentimes, it's because you're after a certain goal, a certain outcome and result. And so the RPM uh, method is really about first defining and asking yourself, what do you really want? What's the outcome or the result that you're after? And getting crystal clear on that, being as specific as possible. So I always start off uh, my day planning it based on goals, outcomes, and results that I've already set for myself for that month or that year. So I have yearly goals. Um, I share those on my blog. I share those uh, in my monthly goals reports as well. Um, those are the goals that I set for the year. And everything that I do throughout the year is to help uh, make progress and achieve those goals that I set for myself. But I also set monthly goals as well um, at, at different points, and I have goals for each area of my life. So I have goals for my emotions. I have goals for my body, my health, my you know physical, you know my uh, physical fitness. I have goals for my business. Uh, usually multiple goals for my business. I have goals for my finances. I have goals for my relationships, my social life, as well as my spiritual life. So there's a bit of work that I've already done before the daily planning. And I think it's important to make sure that you have that. You have goals in each area of your life. Because again, if you're just doing stuff each day, but you don't know why you're doing it, you don't have specific outcomes and goals that you're after, then that's not efficient at all. So um, I always make sure that every day I'm aware of what my goals are. I have my goals written down and I always review them as part of my morning ritual. And so when it comes to planning my day, which is this process inside Evernote, I often do this more at the end of my morning ritual. And if you guys know me, you know there's a lot of things I do as part of my morning ritual that I teach inside morningritualmastery.com. And so the first thing that I start with is what is the result or outcome that I'm after for that day? And usually, you know, for each day and each week, there's certain results and outcomes I'm focused on. I don't try to do too much at once. I usually try to simplify, focus on maybe three, uh, maybe at most four uh, results or outcomes for that day. Um, so for this day, April 28th, I put in uh, the main result that I'm focused on now is to easily make progress towards the creation of affiliate marketing mastery to complete the course by July 9th and ensure that its quality is of the highest standard possible. Now, when you write down what your goal is, what the outcome result is, it's very clear to make sure that you write it out as a sentence. You write it out in a way that's compelling, that's exciting, that's specific, and that really, you know, it's very clear and really motivates you. 
you can see that my result has a deadline as well by July 9th. And really, you know, I'm not going to achieve the, the goal by today. And so that's why I put to make progress towards the creation of it. So today I'm just focused on making progress. And oftentimes that's what I focus on is just making progress towards these mean outcomes and goals uh, that I'm after. And you can also see by the languaging, I like to say easily, um, you know, just by using certain words like that, it can totally shift your perception and association of your goals. Once you're clear on what the goal and the result is, the next piece of RPM is the purpose. Okay, the purpose. Why do you want the goal? What are the reasons that you have to achieve it? And I only write down three just to make this process fast each day. Um, I write this out each day, maybe it takes me 10 or 15 minutes at most. Um, but just writing out three, you know, I find I, I try to force myself to come up with three different ones each day. But I usually have a whole long list because of, you know, I, I, as I said, I have the goals for the year and I have all the reasons why. But I just ask myself, why do I want this? You know, what are the reasons that I have to achieve this result or outcome? And I just focus on the three top ones. And so the ones I wrote today for this are to help people build their online business and become financially free. Uh, to create a product that I'm proud and passionate about. And number three, to create a new income stream, which will allow me to achieve my biggest goals for the year. And these reasons, you have to make sure that they're your reasons and not anyone else's reasons. You can't be trying to achieve results and goals for other people's reasons. You got to make sure that they're your own and that these reasons really inspire and motivate you because this is what's going to give you that juice and light that fire to really get you going and motivate you. And often when I do this process, the power of it is it associates emotion to the result and the actions that you're going to be taking. Uh, oftentimes, they people just do things without any purpose behind doing it. And anything that you do in your life that doesn't have an empowering purpose behind it is a waste to your life of fulfillment. So you want to make sure that everything you do, you have a purpose for doing it. And then what I do is I write out the, the massive action plan. And I look at you know the actions as the to-dos, I guess you can call them. But I also look at it, at, look at it as a could-do list. And so I usually list, you know, what are all the things that I could do that could help me achieve this result? And the actions you create are going to be based on the result, right? So knowing what my outcome is, that's what's going to help me formulate my actions. And so I know now why I'm doing the things that I'm doing, what I'm trying to do it for. And I can also help identify the most important actions that are the 80-20 that are going to allow me to achieve that goal uh, and the, the result that I'm after. So the actions for today are to create keynote slides for module two, record videos for module two, upload current videos to Dropbox for editing, give feedback on existing 99designs logos, uh, check in with Arnold for uh, video editing, talk to Ashley about creating PDF summaries. So these are the main actions for today. Um, if yeah, I will mention I don't get all the actions done that I set in a day, but I always get done the most important ones. So usually when I make my list, I bold or highlight the three most important actions. And I try to simplify and just focus on the three highest leverage ones. And so for me, you can see I bolded uh, you know, this one, this one, and this one. All the other ones, if I don't get them done, that's okay. I can work on them tomorrow. They're not as important, but as long as I get these three really important ones done, awesome. Then that, you know, I made significant progress towards this goal. Also, I usually put my outcomes and results in a sequence of priorities. So this is the number one outcome that I'm focused on today. And so that's why uh, I put it as the first one. And inside Evernote here, you know, if I want to add more, you know, I, it's pretty, I usually add more outcome or more actions throughout the day. Certain things come up, so I'll add them to the list. Uh, Evernote allows you to, you know, play with formatting and create bullets and check boxes and highlight stuff. So Evernote's really great for that as well. Uh, another great benefit of Evernote is you can put in videos and images. And uh, I, I, I use it for many different purposes, like coaching people, when I'm being coached with my coach, taking notes, going to seminars, it syncs with my, my, my phone, the app on my phone. Uh, so I do a lot of, I, I use it for a lot of different purposes besides planning my day. Um, and there's a lot of cool features for it as well. Okay, next result, to create more physical vitality and energy while making massive progress towards my goal of completing Tough Mudder on June 18th. So <clears throat> this is one of the goals that I have for the year. Um, to compete in Tough Mudder. And then also I, I always focus on energy and vitality first because I don't want to just 
you know, compete in Tough Mudder or I don't want to just, you know, have a six pack. I want to make sure that health and energy and vitality is all part of that because I'm not after just, you know, there's certain things that I could do to, you know, increase my endurance or lose fat or look good, but they're not going to be aligned with health, energy, and vitality. So I always make sure that my result is that specific and includes uh, other elements of it as well. The purpose that I have is to have unstoppable energy and vibrancy, to increase my stamina and endurance, to look and feel good. Uh, actions, run for 40 minutes on an empty stomach as part of my morning ritual, uh, which I have already done this morning. Leg workout from Limitless Camp, drink at least one green smoothie, drink lemon lime water throughout the day, go to bed on an empty stomach, take health supplements. Um, so you can see I bold the ones, the three most important highest leverage ones. Um, now, to speed up this process for tomorrow, you know, this is likely an, an, an outcome and a massive action plan, uh, or RPM plan, that I'm going to repeat for tomorrow. So I can easily copy this and move it forward to tomorrow as well so I don't have to write it out. But I'll still write out the purpose. I'll still read out the result because I always like to condition to make sure I'm focused on it and also remind myself of the, of the actions. But, you know, certain... Uh, results and actions you're going to have, you know, they're just going to be repetitive every day. So you just want to copy and, and move some of those things forward. Uh, another result that I have is to feel a deeper sense of gratitude, joy, happiness, and fulfillment throughout the day. Okay. So you know, a result or an outcome could be something as simple as that. And that's aligned with my emotional goals that I have to experience deeper emotions. The purpose that I have is because the quality of life is emotions. You know, that's the most important thing. It doesn't matter what you achieve, what you get. It's all about how you feel because the only reason why we go after things is because we believe it's going to make us feel a certain way. Um, so I always make sure I have a result or outcome for my emotional well-being because health and emotions are most important things in life. Um, that's the foundation to everything. And I explain that more in detail in my video blog on how to achieve more balance in your life. And I always make sure I'm making progress and at least maintaining my emotional well-being and my physical well-being. So I'm not deluding myself. Uh, it's, you know, I know that any financial goal, any external goal, that's not going to create any happiness. And so I, I understand I have to focus on that every day if I want to have an extraordinary life. Uh, another purpose, is, uh, another reason is to condition my mind and emotions to feel the way that I want because you have to condition yourself to feel the way you want. And also another reason is because your emotions affect everything in your life. Uh, you know, if you're feeling sad and depressed and angry or frustrated, that's going to affect your business. That's going to affect your relationship. That's going to affect your health. It's going to affect everything. Um, at the same way, if you're happy, if you're excited, if I'm gra grateful and passionate, if I'm fulfilled, that will affect everything too. It'll come across in my videos. It'll come across in my body, my health. It'll make me more motivated, make me more productive. I'll have better relationships and friendships. Everything improves. So that's another reason why I focus on it. Actions. Uh, spend at least 60 minutes on my morning ritual. Five minutes of gratitude as well. Uh, and I usually do this in the gym in the morning when I'm going for my walk and my run. Uh, share the magic moments uh, of the day with my girlfriend. Journal the magic moments of the day as well. And again, usually I'll add more things as they come up as well um, and add them onto the list. Uh, next result is to easily make progress growing Project Life Mastery, reaching thousands of more people around the world to positively impact their quality of life while achieving my goal of generating $2 million in revenue. So again, this is related to the goals, the overall goals, the higher picture of goals that I have for the year. Uh, purpose is this is what my life is about. This is what I'm made for. Excuse me, this is my destiny in life. Reminding myself of that. Uh, to contribute and serve millions of people and to leverage my time, creating more freedom and allowing me to focus on what I love. Uh, and again, I always try to think of three different things each day. Uh, and it can be the littlest things. You know, your reasons why it can just be to have fun, to do what I love, to be able to travel the world, to be able to contribute to charities and make a difference, to be able to, uh, you know, inspire other people in the process. Or, you know, sometimes they could be reasons like, so I never have to be broke again. So I no longer have to struggle. So I can prove other people wrong and show them what's possible, what I'm made of, to prove to myself what I'm capable of. You know, whatever's going to motivate you. I, I remember, man, I had goals or reasons before, like when I was younger doing this stuff is like, 
so that I could attract this woman in my life or so that that girl who, you know, rejected me last week, you know, uh, she'll see me like in a year from now and she'll wish that she could have me or something like that. You know, whatever motivates you, that's the purpose of it, right? It doesn't matter how ridiculous it is. Whatever produces emotion and drive within you and gets you to take action. Uh, what are the actions? Record video for Project Life Mastery giveaway. Re record video for my 30th birthday Change Heroes campaign. Record update video for Affiliate Marketing Mastery series. Uh, give feedback from Charles, new PLM images. Uh, usually it's stuff I, I work with my team now. I, I, I try to work on my business, not in my business as much. I always create content. That's the one thing as I'm doing right now that I can never outsource. I'm always doing that uh, every single day for the most part. I love it. That's one of the highest leverage things I can do. But usually stuff I do in my business now is like I've, I've got a team. I've got tons of people that work with me now. So I'm more working with them. And eventually, really, I need to get to a point where I have a, a COO or some sort of operations manager that can just run and manage the team so that I can just focus on the one thing that I'm I'm really the good, uh, good and the best at. But I'm not quite there yet. That'll probably happen over the next year or two, though. Um, anyway, so here's all the actions. Again, I bold the highest leverage. Um, I always make sure like emails and stuff like I, I always do that every day um, because there are some important emails, but that's always like the lowest priority thing um, just because emails can easily distract me and they get you in a sense of reaction. And the whole purpose of this RPM plan is to be proactive, not, you know, is actually consciously designing your day and designing your life. A lot of people, it's like they just do things out of reaction because other people need them to do this and that and their boss and you know their spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever it is. It's like there's all these demands that they have and so they don't take time to design their day, design their life and take the necessary actions. And so that's the purpose of planning your day like this, being proactive, not reactive. Um, you know, incorporate this part of your morning ritual and, and uh, this will allow you to actually achieve the results and goals that you're after. And like I said, I don't get everything done. You know, it, that's okay. You're not after the to-dos. You're after the result. And at the end of the day, as long as I made progress towards these four primary outcomes, these four primary results, then that was an amazing, successful day. And that's all I focus on is making progress, not trying to be perfect because there's – unlimited things for me to do, right? And I'm sure you're the same or both, you know, everybody's busy. Um, and usually throughout the day, I'll have more and more things that are added added to the list. I'll have, in some cases, like I've had like a hundred plus actions that need to be done. And I just know that there's no humanly possible way I'm going to get that all done in the day. But I just try to simplify what are the three most important things, make progress in each area each day. As long as you do that, you will achieve the goals and the, the results that you're after. So hopefully this process, uh, this process is useful for you. Uh, hopefully just this transparency and how I plan my day. Uh, you can model it if you choose. If you want to know more about RPM, check out Tony Robbins. He's the ultimate resource for it because he's the one that created the RPM method. Uh, great for that. If you guys want to check out Evernote, I think it's just evernote.com or you know, there's also the app on your phone. You can just search in the app store, find Evernote. Uh, it's free. They do have paid plans as well if you want more uh, storage and a few other features as well. But um, the free plan is is more than enough and is very useful. And I like to have everything on my computer and, and phone because I can easily recall it if I need to. I used to use journals and I still do in some regards. Um, but I find it's just easier now with technology to sync everything amongst devices and to search. I could search, for example, like certain words. And, you know, it'll pull it up in uh, my Evernote and different notes that I might have had. And also for recording seminars and notes from books and ideas and concepts and all very useful to have it all in one place. All right. So that's how I use Evernote to plan my day with the RPM method. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and leave a comment below. Let me know how you plan your day right now. Love to, to know what you're currently doing and what works for you. And uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Take care. Hey, this is Stefan, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this, then please hit the like button below, leave a comment to let us know what you think, and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos like this. Now, if you want to take your life to the next level, then I want to offer you a free gift. 
It's called my Life Mastery Toolkit and it literally has the best of the best of what I have to offer in terms of videos, articles, and resources for taking your life to the next level and living an extraordinary life. To get access to this, all you have to do is click the link that will appear right here on this video or if you're on a mobile device, then click the link in the description below and then head on over to that page, enter your email address, and I'll send you immediate access to the Life Mastery Toolkit. I want to thank you again for watching this video. Until the next one, I'll talk to you soon.